Good morning from my classroom in Kansas. It is currently 5 a.m. and I am about to start my morning classes for the day. I teach until nine now, which is so awesome having two hours of um, extra sleep in the mornings now that we're in Kansas. Every morning I have been teaching and my routine is I go out and I get coffee, but I have to be really quiet because all of our neighbors are still sound asleep for at least another hour and then I teach until nine, and then I um, go and get breakfast with Nick and do some chores. So we're just gonna kind of get the day started and show you guys around the place that we're living. See you in a bit. Whole family's awake now. Oh. So Nick is going to take Scout out to potty. I'm going to do a load of laundry really quick. The best time for me to do this is in the morning. We have a little washer and dryer in our room, but it's super tiny and it takes like six hours to wash and dry everything. So they so graciously allowed us to use their washers and dryers. So these washers are actually really cool because they already have the detergent. So you don't have to put anything in them. You just press start and the detergent goes in it automatically. <laughs> Welcome back into our little place. If you haven't figured it out quite yet, Nick and I are living in an assisted living house right now out here in Kansas. So this was the big surprise that, uh, that we wanted to share with you guys. We do have our own little apartment in this building. It looks just like an apartment complex, but all of our neighbors are 80, 90 plus. So um, I'm just gonna show you guys around a little bit. So this is Miss Scout's little chair. She loves this chair. She can look out the window. It's where she goes and plays during the day. Is this your chair, Scout? Oh, okay. When we first moved in, one of the first things I noticed was we had plants and I was really nervous because I've never had to like keep plants alive. The only thing I've had to keep alive is this person. So um, I have done a wonderful job watering the plants every day, making sure that they stay alive. And then I realized they're fake. So there's that. We have this little living room area. The best part about this is that this place came furnished. So we literally walked in and all this furniture was here. The TV was here, the couch was here, the chair was here, everything was here, which is, as you guys know, crazy for us because uh, we usually just use our blow up air mattress, blah, blah, blah. So um, the only disadvantage to this place is it's not a full size kitchen. So that's something that we've been working with. That's why we go out to the community room to make our breakfast and um, lunch and dinner and everything else. They do provide food for us if we wanna eat with them. Um, the hours just don't always coordinate with when Nick is awake or when I'm leaving for the field. So when the times for that don't match up, we just either cook for ourselves in the community room or we've been getting along just fine with this. 
we do keep some things in here. It has a freezer, and then we do have a microwave and our Keurig in here, which we have hardly used because they always have hot coffee, which is what I go get every morning. So I did bring the Ninja, and then we invested in a skillet so I can cook basically anything in there. So that's been kind of fun to find recipes that I can, can make stuff in there. So that's that, and then over here is my teaching room they did have this little table for me so in the mornings I just go to China this is the bedroom this bed is a hundred percent not big enough for all three of us but somehow Scout still finds a way to sleep right in between us so dresser was here that's our little TV got our little baseball gypsy hats love it um, we got a big closet here and this is the little tiny washer and dryer I was telling you guys about earlier. It's so little. I don't know if you can really tell. This is Scout's tennis ball. I mean, it doesn't look, it doesn't look very little, but basically it's a washer and a dryer and it takes about six hours to wash and dry. So here is our little vanity area and then the bathroom and of course it is a wheelchair accessible shower. So. Um, it's quite perfect for us. I mean, it has everything we need. Uh, we've really been loving the fact that we have like a hundred grandparents here. So yeah, assisted living. It's right down the street from the ballpark. I've already dropped Nick off for the day and I am about to head to the game. So that kind of sums that up. Nick is still doing spring training games right now. Um, the season officially opens, I think it's the 18th, but they are away in Wichita and I think I'll probably drive. That's like a, a three hour drive um, to Wichita. So I think I'll probably go to that, but Next video I'm posting, I'm almost done editing it. It's really fun. It's the Kansas Speedway when we went over to the races. Uh, you guys are gonna have to watch that and then we'll get into more baseball stuff. So I'm glad you guys are following along. If you haven't subscribed already, please do it. Like this video if your heart desires. Scout says goodbye. Wait, come here. Oh, okay. We had it all, I got too young, way too young. Done it.